Hi, it's Nev again, and in this video we're going to add an OLE field, and we're going to add some icons to our company table. Uh, I actually have just some images here, um, and I have already copied and pasted my database table. You'll notice the minute I open this, the date will change. I've labeled it uh, that I'm going to add an OLE field. So we'll enable this content. We'll go to our company table. And at the moment, we do not have any images in here. So if we go to our design view, and we add a table for logo, and we're going to make it OLE object. So uh, I can choose that. Uh, while I'm here, I'm also going to add a, a field for um, teaching material. Um, so I'm just going to write docs, and I'm going to call that an attachment. So I could do the drop down here, I'm just typing. So an attachment uh, so that I can uh, attach documents to this. And while we're here, I might make a links field so that we can look at the hyperlink data type as well. Okay, so we've got three new fields. If I want to view that, it's going to ask me to save the table first. And we now have extra fields here. So that's telling me there are no documents attached to any of those fields at the moment. All right, now we, I'm going to close that table. I'll show you what happens if we don't. Um, the minute I go into design view here, I think it's going to, oh, it might let me work. So here's my company table. It's got a subform for each of the calls for that company. Uh, um, I'll just narrow that for a minute. Uh, I'm going to change my column size over here. Now, my address fields are not actually going to be that wide. So if I highlight, I can, if I highlight just that much, I'll get one field. If I highlight all of those, over all of those fields, I can reduce the size of my address fields. Now, I want to add in an image field for my logo. So if I go around on the uh, design view here and look for this image field, uh, let's put it in here. Uh, okay, if I want to move that label, if I, at the moment, if I grab it somewhere like this, I will move both fields, Control Z for undo. But if I grab it at that top right hand corner, I can move it up to there and I can call it logo delete. Uh, not that we really need a label for it because the minute you see the picture, you're going to know what's going on. Now, what will be my control source? Uh, and it should be logo. And I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that as its name as well. If I want to be a bit more precise, I could call that OLE logo and it gives me the type of field or image logo. While we're at it, let's add in an attachment field. Uh, again, that can be uh, a box like this. What it's going to contain is, now I'm going to use the arrow keys to just move it up a little bit there. Um, it's going to contain an icon for Word or Excel or PowerPoint, whatever our attachment might be. So, uh, so that'll do. Uh, and let's also add in a hyperlink field. Now, the hyperlink I'm pretty sure that we're just going to do a normal text box like so. The hyperlinks tend to be long, so I'm going to uh, 
make this link and uh, so I'll just reduce that a little bit and I'll bring this across here uh, and control source here is going to be links uh, and up here I'm going to have HYP links and my control source here is going to be so to my control source that's going to be docs and this is going to be and of course I don't like an uppercase first letter so I'm going to change that to A right so it tells me the types of fields and their names okay let's save that and let's now go into our view mode and let's attach a logo. Now I've got some uh, little logos here. Uh, they are at the moment PNG files. What Access will do is store this as a BMP file. And it's pretty tricky the way that you put it in. Uh, putting it in from here, I'm not able to copy it properly. Let's just. Uh, try and copy it from here if I go copy paste it will not put it in it's just putting in a, a link like that so backspace control Z <coughs> how do I get it out of there delete <coughs> yeah okay so what I might do is open it up in paint so open with paint and uh, let's get it over here. You'll see that, whoops, uh, I'm going to just enlarge this to 800%. So view, uh, zoom in, and I don't really need to do that because I'm, all I'm going to do is copy it. Control C. I could have copied it while it was small. Let's go back over to here. My logo is highlighted, so my logo here is highlighted. Control V. Now it will actually manipulate the file and save it in there as a BMP. All right. Uh, I actually have the video link to the um, playlist here, so that can go in there and uh, I have an attachment. Let's grab a file from somewhere. Uh, at the moment, here's a, um, a file link. So if I click on attachment, and I add an attachment, and I browse for it, let's, uh, let's go uh, databases, uh, let's, database one let's just add the core log and so that's okay now if I want to view this I'll, I'll move on to the next field it has no image and no attachment if I want to open that attachment I have to open if I had more than one attachment it would give me the choice so we've added images, um, attachments, and a hyperlink to our company table. And therefore, we're able to uh, hold various types of information in our database. Thanks for listening.